from the Jubilee Auditorium in the city of Edmonton, in the heart of Alberta. It's The Tonight Show, starring Anthony Hume. Tonight, joining Anthony is his guest, Ryan Reinders, and another very special guest you don't want to miss. And now, here he is, Anthony Hume. Welcome to the Tonight Show, everybody. We have a great show planned for you guys tonight, so let's get it popping with our first guest, Ryan Reinders. Hey, Ryan, how's it going, buddy? Fantastic. Great to be here. You know, we haven't had you on the show in a while. What's new? I'm actually graduating real soon here. Oh, snap, crackling biscuits. When's that all going down? About 20, 30 minutes, actually. <laughs> How are you feeling about that? You know, I'm feeling pretty excited. I hear the class historians are going to be awesome this year. I have no doubt in that. So, Ryan, three years, same school. Break it down for us. Well, it's flown by faster than the stop, drop, and selfie craze, Anthony. But has it flown by faster than the throws by the gym class heroes at the Harry Ainley dodgeball tournament? Of course. But not quite as fast as the teacher's throws, if you get what I'm saying there. I bet those students are still feeling the pain of that loss, Ryan. So walk me through these past three years at Ainley. Well, Anthony, unlike the way they decided to release the movies for the Lord of the Rings trilogy or The Hobbit, I'm going to start from the beginning. Are you sure you don't want to start from the middle? Finish the story to the end, then go back to the beginning, finish the story to the middle, then wait about 10 years and reawaken the story with a new seventh episode? Do you think that they get it? Yeah, I think they get it, but you know, I'll probably just take it from the top. Makes more sense. Lead the way. Well, Anthony, as you know, it all starts when you begin searching for the best high school. I wasn't doing too much looking around till one day my parents came into my room while I was listening to my Get Psyched playlist and pretty I'm much sorry, just... I'm sorry, you say Get Psyched playlist? That sounds amazing. What was on there? Oh, only the best of the times. We had Rolling in the Deep by Adele, Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. It's a solid anthem. Mercy by Kanye West, just to name a few. But pretty much, as I was saying, parents bust in. Totally kill my vibe. And pretty much just ask me. Do you want to go to Ainley? And get lost in all the halls. Student council fees are overdue. I'm, I'm telling you, you can't do anything at all. Like be part of all the cool events. The barbecue. Or, or even BYOB. Bananas. Do you want to go to Ainley? You're gonna have to go to Ainley. So, I know, I know. So basically what you're saying, Ryan, is that your parents came in and were just like, Do you want to go to Ainley and join everything you can? Team club council or committee, watch Chuck Robin TVT. It's, it's always fun, fun to be a fan. Hang in there, Jones. You'll, You'll never, never get lonely in these packed always. Hoping these kids will move by. Do you want to go to Ailey? You're gonna have to go to Ailey. Go away, Mom. Okay, bye. Yeah, wow, that was actually pretty accurate. Your parents actually did that? Like three times over the span of my entire life. That's whack. It was randomer than Miley Cyrus's awkward transformation throughout my time at high school. You know, funny you should mention that, Ryan. I'm actually having her on the show next week alongside the Kardashian West. What a gone show that's going to be. Really? I didn't think you got people like that on the show. Oh, yeah, for sure. Since the show started about three years ago. That's a pretty symbolic timeline. I've had tons of people like that on the show. Like who? Well, back in 2012, I had Cy on the show, and he taught me the whole Gangnam Style dance. And then more recently, I had the Biebs and Selena Gomez on to give them some relationship counseling. So glad she's single. Sorry, what was that? Oh, nothing. 
okay, well, like I was saying, I also had on Whitney Houston back in 2012 and Robin Williams last year before they both passed away so suddenly. But on a brighter note, I also had the great Jay Leno on the show. Oh, of course, you got to have him on. Well, when a guy retires and gives you a show, it's the least you can do, right? Right, but wasn't Jimmy Fallon supposed to take over? Jimmy who? Never mind, I must be thinking of somebody else, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Yeah. But hey, Kim Jong-un, weren't you supposed to have him on? Yeah, you heard about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kim Jong was supposed to come over, but that was right around when Malaysian right. Flight 370 went missing. Didn't really want to come over after that one, so. Yeah, it makes sense, but Obama, wasn't he getting kind of jealous too? Wasn't that part of it? Oh, Barack. Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure if the fight was over the show, but Kimmy J started calling Barack mean names and hacking the U.S., so we just scrapped the whole thing. You know? Yeah, it's probably a good call. You don't want to start any nuclear warfare, hey? You know, people say that there's no such thing as bad publicity, but I'm not too sure about that one, Ryan. Word, Kim Jong doesn't really sound like he'd fit in too well at Ainley either. And he's not really in the catching area, is he? No, his chances in the lottery wouldn't be looking too good. Indeed, no. indeed. So, Ryan, how'd you stay busy during your time at Ainley? Well, it's hard not to be busy at Ainley, Anthony. Well, how so? Well, when you're not busy being part of all the cool student council events, like Aloha Ainley, Scary Ainley, or even the beach volleyball tournament we had in a rotunda this year. Hold on, Ryan. I'm going to let you finish. But did you say in the rotunda? Yeah, we had a beach volleyball tournament <laughs> in a rotunda. Do you even know what a rotunda is, though? Uh, well, it's like in the middle of our school. It's got like some pillars, like a triangular window roof. Thing you think happening. that he would have learned this by now, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, I should probably yeah. look into that before I graduate. Hey. But what you know is that there was a lot of sand in it. Oh, that's an understatement. There was sand everywhere. There was sand in the hallways, in my French class. Sable partout. In the paintbrushes in the art room. In a cake some kid made in foods. What? <laughs> the band's instruments even had sand in them. The robots and robotics weren't working properly anymore because they had so much sand in them. In fact, Anthony, I'm pretty sure when I walked in this morning, I saw sand in the Jubilee. Like, how is that even possible? In the Jubilee! In fact, let me just check something real quick here. Oh, no. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> Dude, this whole thing happened back in September. Ryan, I was just at Ailey this morning. Let me just no. check mine, too. Let me just... no. Oh, here oh, it is. My... Here... Oh, God. There it is. I don't know what to That's say. That's worse right than I've ever imagined. I don't know what to say, except that, like, I let you finish, so carry on. But right, well, as I was saying, there's always tons of fun things to look forward to at Ainley, like Touch of Class, Culture Fest, and this year even, our first ever homecoming. Oh, so with the first homecoming, what's the spear like in the hallways there? Oh, it's just as abundant as the kids in the hallways, Anthony. Woo. Like around the time of our school tournaments, like Triprov, TBT, Handball Cup, it's literally a sea of blue, but, you know, minus the water. But, but not, not the, the sand. sand, obviously. Right. So things must have gotten pretty rowdy then, Ryan. Oh, unbelievably. You know, Ryan, we've had fun tonight, right? Of course. All right, have something weighing on my chest since you got here. That's disgusting. I know. And I just got to get it off. Right, well, lay it on me. I've heard legendary tales of these amazing dance battles that take place at Ainley, and I got to know, like, are they sporadic or are they organized? You guys hop in some sort of group chat, like, dance battle here, there, wherever, be there or be square. Like, what's going on? No. Well, hmm. ha Anthony, have you you've heard of the disease outbreaks and epidemics we've had to deal with lately, right? Of course, Ryan, but where are you going with this? Well, dance battles are like a good disease outbreak, if you want to put it that way. I most likely wouldn't put it that way, but carry on. Well, they start in small, concentrated areas, but soon people find out about it, word spreads, everyone knows about it, and soon everyone's just freaking out about it. The only difference is that people want to catch dance battle fever. <laughs> <laughs> True that. But Ryan, all jokes aside, how did you stay busy outside of Ainley during your time there? Well, if I'm just hanging out at home, I probably know like to watch the news. Sorry, what was that? I like to watch the news. Okay, don't judge me. My social teacher told me to do it. Jeez. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just posting that picture I just took on all the cool social media from your time in high school, like Twitter and Instagram. You know? Oh, okay. Why? Oh, sorry. Hold on. Sorry. Hashtag Law Ryan watches the news. Hashtag Grad 2K15. Hey, Anthony, there's actually cool stuff on the news. Hashtag man. Grad Historians at Ryan underscore Reinders 11. Yeah, tag me in that. It's Ryan underscore Reinders, right? Yeah, it's, it's all lowercase. All lowercase. Hey, throw that filter on there. Like that early bird? Yes. Nice. There swipe. you go. Swipe, nice. Swipe, swipe, swipe. But Anthony, you're being really <laughs> mean right now, man. I've been taught a lot about character traits throughout my time at Harry Ainley, and you're not repping any one of them right now. What are you talking about? I'm talking about integrity, yep. honesty, Get it. fairness, yep. forgiveness, mm -hmm. responsibility, yep. respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Take care of TCB. Are you saying you're feeling disrespected, Ryan? Yes. Okay, well, I see where you're coming from, uh -huh. but I'm not going to take that picture down. 
However, our next guest may be able to shed some light on the whole topic of respect. So without further ado, give it up for uh, Patrick. Who's Patrick? I don't know. Buffalo Soldier. Oh. Dead like Rasta. Oh. That was a Buffalo Soldier. Yeah. In the heart of America. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Mr. Powell. How's it going? Everything is everything. Um, <laughs> thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. Well, you're obviously more commonly known as Mr. Powell, and we're pretty lucky to have you on the show as you're an icon at Ainley. Icon. But you see me and Ryan are having a little uh, snippet. Yeah, so look, her fuffle. About the whole topic of respect and being respect. a teacher at Ainley, I was hoping maybe you could shed some light on the whole topic for us. I sure can. You know, I have a CD coming out. They still make those? And it's based on respect. Whoa. whoa. Would you be willing How to cool like, is that? Would you be willing to like share some of it with like with us? If you're willing to drop a slow beat for me, I could do it. Well, is that Whoa. even a question? Let's do it. Get out the way. Move. Yes. Alright. <coughs> Respect. 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 Respect is a word that we all have heard, so respect yourself for who you are and what you do. Respect your parents, your friends, and teachers too. It's time you open your eyes and come to realize that it's all about mood. Show some respect with your attitude. If you show me some respect, it will have a good effect. Who you are is not a factor, because respect is good character. So I'd like you to know, whether you're a friend or a foe, that it's all about mood. Show some respect with your attitude, yeah. Show some respect with your attitude. So some respect with your attitude. So some respect. With Woo! Your attitude. That was Patrick Powell. Yeah. Save you album dropping Woo! 2K16. We're going to commercial, but we'll be right back. Soldier. Dread <laughs> like Rasta. Buffalo Soldier. Welcome back, everybody. We're here with Ryan Rinders. And before the break, Ryan was telling us about why he likes to watch the news. Ryan, why is that? Seriously, Anthony, I saw some cool stuff. Like what? I saw Neymar's back get broken in the 2014 Soccer World Cup in South Africa. I saw Barack Obama re-elected over Mitt Romney back in 2012. I saw the royal baby, Prince George born, back in the summer of 2013. And his sister, Princess Elizabeth Charlotte Diana, born only a few weeks ago. You got to see the royal babies being born? How do you have such privilege, sir? I wouldn't actually get to physically see them, you know, emerge. That's disgusting. But I did I get to see Canada trounce Sweden 3-0 to win gold in the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. Oh. And you can't forget when Team Canada won the World Junior Hockey Championship for the first time in five years, just earlier this year. Yeah. It was nice to finally have a team to cheer for, hey? Well, Ryan, the Oilers do win. What do they win? We win the draft. Top 10 picks every year, baby. Whoa, excuse me. My show. And that's not a good thing? No, that's terrible. You're telling me that top draft picks aren't a good thing. Yes, that means that we're, like, last in the league every year. Oh, this is awkward. Uh -huh. Well, have you tried, like, trading or, like, firing a coach yet? You'd think that would help. Maybe trade a player or, like, a goalie? You know what I mean? Both. Multiple times. I have no idea. Oh, Ryan, yeah. I got it. I got it. Okay, yeah. We can use tax uh -huh. dollars to buy a new arena. You'll get the boys excited to play again. See, this is why you need to watch the news. That's irrelevant. Yeah, it is. So Ryan, I got a little game <laughs> set up here for us. Sweet, how's it work? You're familiar with some of the more famous fads over the past two years, right? Of course. All right, this game's called Famous Fads with Anthony. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and the way it works is that you'll pick a fad out of this here hat, you'll act it out a lot like charades. The big, the big difference is that you can actually talk. Yeah, I don't really know if so I want So here's the hat. Okay. Just remember, it can be from Ailey or from around the world. Okay, well, you're going to have to record me for this one. Why is that? Well, it's got to be legit. Makes sense. All right. <laughs> hey, it's Ryan. Thanks for the nomination. Next up, Anthony. You have 24 hours, and don't forget to donate. <laughs> How do you even know that's what I had? It's my show, man. And that's oh. got to be the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, right? Wow, it's like you wrote them yourself. I know, it's awkward. Hey, well, your turn now, bud. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Ryan, having gone to Ainley, this one should be pretty easy for you. Okay, let's go. Okay. <clears throat> this Mr. Jones in the office, lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. <laughs> Harry in the high school is now in a lockdown. If you're in the high school... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. What, 
what are you doing? What is that? That's the point of the game, Ron. You're supposed to guess what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, I, I know that. That's obviously a lockdown at Harry Ainley. Yep. But you're doing it all wrong. What are you talking about? Well, you didn't even show how they run to the back of the line. Line? You know, you know the big line of administrators that always line up to speak on the intercom every, uh, every time there's a lock? Ryan, that's not a line. That's a recording. Yeah. Oh. I know, I made the same it mistake. Makes so much more sense. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, you want to tell me why Mr. Jones always has to be in the office? Well, what do you mean? That's where the intercom is. Why can't he mix it up a little bit? Like, yo, what's up? It's Mr. Jones chilling in the rotunda. Just thought I'd let you know, Halo homeroom tomorrow. Okay, so something like, hey, what's up? It's Mr. Jones in welding. Just got my ticket. Just a reminder, musical chairs in the rotunda tomorrow. Exactly. Or what's up? It's Mr. Jones in cosmetology. You're getting a fresh cut. Could license plate number dollar sign W3G300 please move your vehicle? You don't have a parking pass. Hey, <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Mr. Jones in automotives fixing some fucks capacitors. Marty, you can go home now. Or it's Mr. Jones in the dance studio living the ballet dream. Hey, what's up? It's Mr. Jones in the gym just breaking down some walls. Just a reminder, anti-bullying day on Friday. Don't forget to wear pink. Yes, or it's Mr. Jones in the theater doing a sound check for One X. Tickets on sale at lunch. All right, Ryan. They get it, buddy. All right. It's your turn anyways, bro, amigo. We're going again? Yeah, you just get it. Oh, <sighs> jeez. Let's go. No! Whoa, whoa, uh -uh. Whoa. I am not doing that! What's the problem, fam? I don't even know if my body can move like that. What? Oh my good. Okay, well, if it's that embarrassing, why don't I pick one more? We'll do them at the same time. Okay, fine, but this doesn't define me. What is about to happen? I don't know about this. Man up. Turn down for what? Twerking! You hit that whip! Nice! Woo! I actually think Woo. that went pretty well for the first time. And for the last time, you enjoyed that way too much. Yeah, I felt like Nicki Minaj in the Anaconda music video. What's that sound? I don't know, but it sounds like, like she's hell all of a sudden. Whoa! What are you doing? Something my body can't control. What the heck was that? I do not know. Can we get that checked out, please? That was weird. I got like possessed for a second there. I don't even know what just happened. Whew. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties right uh -huh. now. Uh-huh. But by the looks of the time, you gotta get to your grad anyways. Right, yeah. Hey, well, thanks for having me. No problem. It's out of the rest of the class for me. Definitely. All right, next up, we have Will Ferrell doing some knife tricks. And he's gonna class be of 2015. Okay. These past three years have been some of the best of our lives, and we'll cherish them forever. And to the teachers, admin assistants, custodial staff, counselors, librarians, and Lang. Volunteers, parents, coaches, support staff, admin, and that one guy who's always whipping around the school on the hallway Zamboni every day. We would like to thank you for putting up with all of our sass. Back talk. Late assignments. And anything else we probably put you through. We know that words can't express how much we appreciate your patience and guidance over these past two years. So because we're more visual learners, please take the following slideshow as a token of our appreciation for you. Can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you're gonna be with me for the last ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way. Yeah, we came a long way. From where we began. You know, we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. Congratulations, class of 2015, and best of luck in the future.